Hi everyone, uh, my name is Patrick Murray. I have been associated with McDonough Music Studios since 2003. I was a senior at Shelby High School. I am now in a professional production here in San Diego, hence the uh, crazy hair. And uh, Crystal has been with me every step of the way. So I was honored when she asked me to uh, do this video for you guys. So my favorite part of the studio would be how uh, relevant I think it is. You know, I think a lot of times, especially in smaller communities, it's hard for voice teachers or music teachers to really understand what's going on in the performing world. And Crystal maintains her connections in New York. She maintains um, her audition schedule all over the place and performing uh, all over the place. So she really understands what it takes to be a performer in today's market and um, this, she understands the steps uh, how to get there. She really has her, her finger on the pulse, uh, if you will, of the performing community. The most difficult part about voice lessons, um, you know, for me as somebody that just wants to do everything right all of the time, it's hard to let go of that. Uh, and so I think for me, the most difficult part of a voice lesson is allowing yourself to mess up, allowing yourself to make mistakes. You know, I really had to get to a point where I had to convince myself to say, it's okay this one hour a week uh, to not focus on being perfect and to really embrace my imperfections and try new things. Um, so that's why, you know, Crystal uh, will have you do various exercises uh, to get you to think outside the box and to stop being in your own head and to really trust uh, the ears in the room other than yours. Interestingly enough, my favorite part about voice lessons would be the creation that you're doing in embracing these imperfections, in trying these new things, in making weird sounds and uh, working on uh, exercises that uh, you probably you would never do on stage. Uh, because then you really are exploring your voice, you're exploring your sound, and you're exploring all of these options and colors um, that you can then take to the stage. Uh, you know, that once you let go of sort of your inhibitions, you're able to really fully create um, a sound and you can find sounds that you never really knew that you had. The craziest thing Crystal has ever said to me in a lesson, you know, it's been a long time since I've had an actual lesson with Crystal. As I've developed as a singer, she's really morphed into a confidant, a mentor, and into a voice um, that I can trust, and an ear that I can bounce ideas off of. Um, I do remember uh, when I was a senior in high school and I was really debating uh, performing as a career, she looked at me and she goes, Patrick, now, do you want to be Dr. Murray singing in the Baptist church down the street? And all the little old ladies say, oh, he has such a beautiful voice. And I shook my head and I said, no, I, that, that doesn't really sound like me. She goes, well, then you need to get to work. My best crystal impression, I kind of already did one, but that wasn't my best one. I remember I came home from college my first year, and I told her that in the practice room at the college I was at, they had these little windows that you could sort of see in to see who was in the practice room. And for some reason that really bothered me, probably because if I saw one of my friends outside, I would be distracted and not want to practice. So I would put paper up on the window so you couldn't see in and I couldn't see out. And Crystal thought that that was the funniest thing ever, and she, she goes, Patrick, that is so funny! You are so weird! My best piece of advice for somebody wanting to have a career in, in performing, whether it's opera or musical theater, is, you know, there's a lot of rejection in this industry and it's tough, especially when you're younger. Um, I'm at an age now where my skin's gotten thicker, I can take it, though it still, it still gets me down every now and then. But I, I realize that you're not going to please everyone. Not everyone's going to like you, they're not going to like your voice, you're not going to like the way you sang that aria, whatever it is. And the quicker that you realize that, 
and you sort of accept that and you say to yourself, well, then I'll find somebody who does, that makes your life so much easier and it makes the rejection that you get so much easier because you get that letter that says, no, we're not interested. And you're like, okay, I'll find somebody that is. That would be my biggest advice and not to give up. Uh, it can really run you into the ground sometimes. And the longer you stay with it, the easier it gets. And you can really start to make it your own and on your own terms. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to everything here below. If you want to check out my website, it is patrickiwmurray.com. There you can see me in more costumes, sound clips, and what I'm up to. My stage manager is telling me it's time to go on stage. So catch you guys later. See ya.